sometimes a person wonders why would the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, his family single out four women or say four women are greater than others? Because I've heard many times in our communities people saying, why do we make a distinction who's greater than who? These are all great personalities who gave different sacrifices towards the growth of the religion of Islam or in their different ways showed wonderful submission towards their Lord. So what's the point of us, for example, discussing or saying one's greater than the other or as you said, the title of tonight's discussion, the greatest woman in Islam. I think if you look within the Holy Quran, you'll find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not shy away from making it clear that there were many great prophets, but there's one who stands out from all of them. There are many great prophets, but they're not the same as the messengers. There are many great messengers, but they're not the same as the arch messengers, the ulul azm. If you look in the Quran, the word tafdeel or fadlna, بعض النبيين عن بعض. For example, Allah subhanahu wa taala says in the Quran, we have given honor and made to excel some prophets ahead of others. I don't think there's a single Muslim in the world who will deny that there are some prophets who are seen as being higher than others. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not say anything except that there is a wisdom behind it. Otherwise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why do you need to tell me that, for example, Ibrahim and Musa, Isa, Nuh and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, why do you need to tell me they're greater than everybody else? They're all great prophets. But Allah says, no. فَضَّلْنَا بَعْضُ النَّبِيِّنْ عَنْ بَعْضُ That we have given excellence to some of our Prophets ahead of others, some of our messengers ahead of others. Even the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi is higher than the rest of the Ulul Azm. The rest of the Ulul Azm are all of the Muslimin. But the Holy Prophet is awwal al Muslimin, the first to mm. have submitted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah talks about the rest, He says, they are all of those who submitted. But the first to have submitted is the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, his family.